We're now going to include a North Korean defector in our talks. It's Cho kyung -il, who's currently working as an author and leader of Peace Agora. Welcome, kyung -il. Hello. Thank you for inviting right. me. kyung -il, let's start with a self-introduction. Could you first explain to us what Peace Agora is about and when and why you decided to defect to South Korea and how life in Seoul has been since for you? Okay, first, Peace Agora is a young leader organization created by young people from the two Koreas and they create two unification discourse. Mm -hmm. And I came to South Korea in 2004. Life in North Korea was very destitute at the time. My mother sent a broker to find me. Mm -hmm. She came to South Korea two years before me. She said that I can study as much as I want and go to university if I come to South Korea. It meant freedom and hope to me. Um, there were many twists and turns uh, on the way to South Korea through Cambodia and China and Vietnam. And in Cambodia, in Cambodia, South Korean broker reported me to the North Korean embassy in Cambodia, and I was imprisoned in Cambodia prison. But after 18 days, I was dramatically released uh, with the help of the South Korean NIS and took a flight to uh, South Korea. And life in Seoul uh, has been a series of excitement so far. I went to university and study, studied political science, and now I am studying uh, for a PhD. And I worked in various jobs, and I worked as a political consultant and consulted candidates in several elections and worked as a secretary of the National Assembly in Korea for three years. Recently, I published two books and have been working as a writer. Mm, so your life, your new wow. chapter in life started here in South Korea, though the journey was very arduous and difficult for you. I could say that you ended up really well. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's incredibly inc impressive, and thank you so much for sharing um, your testimonial. And I do hope that more people actually get the opportunity that you've had, because we've actually seen the proportion mm -hmm. of young millennials in Gen Z comprise almost half mm -hmm. of the total defector demographic in the last year's statistic. Now, what could be the possible reason or motivating factor behind this phenomenon? Um, I think young people in North Korea are escaping because, by, because they can no longer find hope in their homeland. Uh, there is still no freedom of choice and the economic situation is not improving. And they know that South Korea is a free country and has many opportunities. They think, so, they think of South Korea as a land of opportunity mm -hmm. because they have encountered the South Korean culture and a lot and through the Korean movies and dramas Above all, they have no, they have low expectations for the regime, mm -hmm. and has been most affected um, by the market economy. Mm -hmm. They want to have dreams and freedom, but they know that they can never make it in their country. So they decided to escape North Korea. Mm. Kyung Il, um, compared yes. to our parents' uh, generation, how are young North Korean defectors viewing? Uh, Pyongyang and Kim Jong-un's regime right now? Uh, I think young people have a similar of view of the North Korean regime, like their parents' generation. Mm -hmm. As I said before, they can no longer find hope in their homeland, but they are different from their parents' generation. They have never benefited from socialist distribution system. Mm -hmm. They are market generation that is solving all their livelihoods in their markets. Mm -hmm. They realize that advanced in nuclear weapons and, and missile technology have never has have nothing to do with improving their economic situation. Achieving individual goals has become more important than countries and communities. Right. However, young people have different opinions from their parents' generation when it comes to finding solutions to resolve inter-Korean relations. Mm -hmm. And Kyung I'd like to ask you very briefly, now that you've been in South Korea for such a long time and seen a lot of young defectors, what do you think is one support program or policy that could better help them adjust here? Mm, I think educational support is the most important thing for young North Korean refugees. There is a huge internet education gap between mm. North Koreans and South Koreans because many of young North Koreans have been 
deprived of the opportunity to study in North Korea. Therefore, closing the education gap between young North Korean refugees and South Korean young people is a priority. And and those who have experienced the, to the two Koreas have great potential to change North Korea in the future. Mm -hmm. And support for English education is also important. It's necessary to support these young people so that they can be proactive in solving their own issues right. and tasks on Korean Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll see such educational programs come forth. Thank you so much, Kyung-Yi. It was a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you.